Shizandra is a fruit bearing vine that is said to have five flavors, sweet, salty, bitter, pungent, and sour. And although Shizandra is typically used as a food, it has been used for a wide range of health related issues, including menopausal symptoms, muscle strength and performance, and most notably stress due to its adaptogenic properties. But what does the scientific research say about Shizandra? Does it really live up to all of its hype? Today's video, I'm gonna break down the scientific literature for Cassandra's nutrition, health benefits, and potential side effects, and classify it as either helpful, harmful, or just in plain hoax. What's up, superhumans? If you guys are new here, my name is Dr. Tessa Spencer. I'm a licensed and practicing pharmacist, as well as a NASM certified personal trainer and nutrition coach. I also started my own functional medicine consulting and wellness coaching business, Ritual Wellness. If you wanna learn more about how you can work with me one-on-one -on -one to optimize your health using alternative therapies, superfoods, and supplements, go ahead and keep listening to the end of this video for more information on how to do so. Or if you want to, you can book a free wellness consultations with me by using the link below in my description. As always, and you hear it in every video, superfoods and supplements can always interact with certain disease states or medications, so make sure you're talking with your personal healthcare provider before supplementing with anything. All right. Let's do this. Let's start by giving a little bit of background on Shizandra's adaptogenic properties. Adaptogens are certain herbs or mushrooms thought to help your body adjust, cope with physical, chemical, and biological stress. Now, when looking at adaptogens with muscle strength and performance, Shizandra is referred to an adaptogen because it seems to increase concentration, coordination, and endurance. Now, in animal research, Shizandra reduces heart rate during exercise, resulting in decreased fatigue fatigue and overall improved performance as well as improved endurance. But do these results hold up when comparing muscle strength and performance in humans? Since we all know animal research really isn't the best to decipher whether or not a superfood supplement or medication is going to be beneficial in a human subject. Now there was a small clinical study in healthy middle-aged females showing that taking Cassandra powder extract twice daily for 12 weeks can significantly increase quadricep muscle strength and grip strength. However, it did not affect improving overall muscle mass when compared to placebo. Another small study in healthy adults over the age of 50 years showed that taking Shizandra 50 minutes after breakfast and dinner did improve knee extension, but does not improve hand grip when compared to placebo. And when I say placebo, it means individuals in the placebo group are doing nothing clinically to stimulate the researched outcomes. Now I have to be honest, right now I am not 100% convinced that Shizandra is the go-to for muscle strength and performance, especially in just your run-of-the-mill regular individuals who are just exercising to live a healthy lifestyle. Definitely potential there, and I don't know if these studies were really designed well enough to best measure Shizandra's muscle mass and body composition effects. We really need more research on this topic, and so as of right now, I would recommend more research supplements, protein, creatine, EAAs, alongside a solid nutrition and exercise protocol before turning to Shizandra to help improve muscle strength and performance. Maybe if you're an elite athlete, everything is optimized and you're taking all those supplements, maybe Shizandra can really help you get that extra millisecond of time that is important in elite athletes, but for your run in the mill individual, it's just gonna cost extra money and with the lack of research, that's why I wouldn't recommend it to any of my clients at this time. There are more well-researched superfood supplements and lifestyle habits that can help drastically improve your muscle strength and performance already. But what about managing stress, okay? We talked about adaptogens. It's all about managing stress, right? Now, a small clinical study in healthy, fatigued females under experimental stress suggests that taking a single dose of a combination product containing shazam Sandra, Siberian ginseng, and a couple other ingredients does improve attention as well as cognitive task speed and accuracy when comparing to those taking nothing for that. 
However, because it is in a combination product with other ingredients, it's really unclear if these effects are due to just the Shizandra or if it's due to the combination of Shizandra with these other ingredients. Now, Shizandra reportedly has anti-convulsant, anti-depressant, anti-fatigue, and relaxing effects. And in an animal aging model, Shizandra is protective against oxidative stress changes related to aging, especially in the mitochondria of the cells, the powerhouse of our cells. Because of the adaptogenic properties of Shizandra, I do believe there is potential. We just haven't seen the scientific backing for these claims. Think back to other very well-researched adaptogens like ashwagandha. So if I were to base my recommendation solely off of the current scientific literature out there, I would recommend those adaptogens currently over Shizandra. And this opens like a whole can of worms when it comes to researching alternative therapies. We need more research. If we have more scientific research, that is what leads to real change in the traditional healthcare models and healthcare recommendations. In traditional healthcare, everything is based on scientific data. Conventional Western medicine practitioners to be more open to recommending these alternative therapy treatments. That's why it's so important to have the scientific backing behind these alternative therapies. And of course, if you want to try Shizandra out as an herbal tea and see what happens, I don't think there's anything wrong with that unless you're taking certain medications or disease states that can be negatively affected by Shizandra. And I will go over those medications and disease states later on in the video. So make sure you stick around to learn more about that as well. Now let's talk about Shizandra and menopausal symptoms. There's a small clinical trial of healthy patients with moderate to severe menopause that showed that taking Shizandra extract in two divided doses daily for six weeks does improve hot flashes and other menopausal symptoms when compared to placebo. I think there is a ton of potential here. Once again, we just need more studies. I sound like a broken record, but we need more studies so we can fine tune the exact dose for Shizandra that is gonna be effective for those menopausal symptoms. Shizandra is generally well tolerated. However, in rare cases, Shizandra might cause decreased appetite, heartburn, stomach upset, or a skin rash, and is generally not recommended for those who have gastric conditions like GERD or heartburn. Right now, there isn't enough evidence to see if Shizandra is safe to use while pregnant or breastfeeding, and there is a concern that Shizandra might cause the uterus to contract. So for this one, I would kind of avoid it while pregnant or breastfeeding. There are a few medication interactions that you should look for. Shizandra might decrease the effect of warfarin in the body, which could then increase your chances of a blood clot forming. I would also be cautious in those taking it with midazolam or any medication that is metabolized by the liver, as Shizandra is a CYP450, 2C9, and 3A4 inhibitor, and a P-glycoprotein inhibitor. What did I just rattle off? Your healthcare provider, especially your pharmacist will know what that means. That's why it's good to talk to them, right? Now, if you want to learn more about superfoods and supplements that do have a clinical effect and could be beneficial to your health, I do offer personalized supplement protocols. I've helped individuals to decrease brain fog, improve mood, decrease stress, increase muscle and performance, as well as manage certain disease states like high blood pressure, high cholesterol, type 2 diabetes. So if you want to discover or learn more about those supplement protocols and see if they're right for you, go ahead and use that link below to book a free wellness consultation with me. And I'm also taking on coaching clients for my online personalized wellness program, which encompass personal training, nutrition coaching, supplement consulting, as well as disease state management if you need it, to really help you go from being overwhelmed, frustrated, and fatigued, and confused about what you really need to do to see results. Really help people become self-efficient, get real results, feel energized, and, and really achieve their health and wellness goals. And what I love about my program, it's step-by-step, step. it's easy to follow, it's manageable if you don't have a lot of extra time on your hands, and it's backed with proven results. Once again, if you wanna learn more about my online personalized wellness coaching programs, use that same link to book a free wellness consultation with me. Now, if you want more day-to-day -day tips and tricks about health and wellness, go ahead and follow me on Instagram, at the superfood pharmacist. And if you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and share it with those who might benefit from this knowledge. If you have any questions, put 
put them below in my comments. I try to personally reply to all of my comments and make sure to check out all of my scientific references that I used in creating this video down in my video description. Thank you guys again so much for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful and I hope to see you in the next video, but until then, keep living your worth. Here we go. <laughs> Shazandra. That was probably a little abrasive, especially if you don't know me. So freaking fun to say. This is ooh, Shazandra. Or Shazandra.